guys, this is Cecily. Today is May the 5th and I want to do a quick garden update. So here's how the front yard's going. Grass is finally coming in y'all. I'm excited about that. It was a mud pit for the longest time. It is rainy and not quite 60 degrees here so far today. My snapdragons are dying off. They kind of bloom again. You can see some of them are starting to bud up and die off but they're cute i've got clematis i'm working on growing i had two but someone there's another third one i'm not sure which someone ate it but it is what it is i've got some other random flowers and things there but what we're really working on today is things that are actually edible i mean technically some of the flowers are edible but some of them really don't taste good Okay, so I've got three, what I'm calling guilds, going here. Uh, the trees are different. That one and that one have pawpaw trees. This one is a crabapple tree, but the things at the bottom are all the same. So I've got comfrey coming in, cilantro, peas, morning glory, and Alyssa. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce that one. But I just want to have some variety of things and something covering the soil because you don't want to have bare soil. Here are some squash. I don't remember if it was squash or zucchini. I'm a horrible gardener, y'all. I don't even remember what I plant. But that's what we've got going up here. Tip on these planters. They look really neat. I've got mint. I've got lavender, which by the way, I hate lavender oil lavender scented things but the actual plant smells nice i've got pineapple sage because it smells amazing i have no idea what i'm gonna do with it but it smells great more mint i've got some basil but these planters are cool and all but see how this is growing here it's raining now if you look under here oh, i've got too much going the soil's dry you will actually still need to come out and water those even though it rains because they are not getting much water in there like see this one here it's even bare soil and it's been <clears throat> excuse me it's been raining all morning but this is still dry so make sure to water your little planters this is my little wildflower garden i've put some logs that i have around it trying to block it off so people quit stepping at it also our septic tank is under there so we don't really want to climb on it it needs a boundary i need to get another stick over here uh here is our wood pile we've been kind of going through we let it sit all winter we burned some we're using some there's a big old snake skin in there i don't know if i want to go over there and get it because i've got flip-flops on but here is my garden it looks like a hot mess but it is my hot mess i've got these are all all this junk that's piled on top of the raised bed to keep the cats out the cat well i'll say cats we have one cat and she keeps digging and trying to use it as a little box so that's not working for me We've got pepper, tomato, tomato, comfrey, calendula. There's a little marigold coming in under there. Got some garlic. That's grapes. That's mint. Same theme repeated over here. We got pepper. We got tomato. This tomato is really enjoying this spot. Um, there are different. I've got loofahs and cucumbers and muscadines growing to go up these and hopefully it'll connect and go across here and then I can pick some of like especially the cucumbers some of them are their medium cucumbers and things were huge so that'd be really neat to have them up there there's a squash but it doesn't really seem too happy with that spot over here I've got it. here are some radishes coming up and you can also see some cilantro got more cucumbers there's the cilantro i love cilantro i've got a volunteer sunflower got peas some of them you can see are already ready to be picked i need to do that shortly i've got lots of weeds coming in i'm trying to work with some of the weeds instead of tearing them all out because they all do have something to bring to the soil as long as they don't bring out too much I've got multiple kinds of wild mint coming in that I've got to pull. So I'm going, planning on giving some of them away. They sure smell good though. All right, tomato, tomato, volunteer plants that I probably will have to pull some of them. Tomato, got 
forage coming in over here. Here's a pepper plant. Of course, I sprayed neem oil the other day. Cat, get out of the garden. No kitty. I sprayed neem oil the other day, and of course it's raining now. There's another. I believe that one was a borage. This tomato is not really doing so hot. Here are some pumpkins LV planted. She also planted some corn, but I don't see any of those really coming up. All right. I planted some pumpkin and watermelon, different kind of gourds over here. They're not really doing so happy either. The cardboard, the purpose of this is to cover the walkways for one and help keep weeds out of the walkway. And also they're decomposed and break down and then it'll make better soil. And then I can scoop out the walkways, put it onto here next year. Or that's in theory anyway. We'll see if it works out. And I'll give my blueberries, coddle blueberries. And I have some other raised bed stuff over there in case I want to put any more out here. And these are some wood chips that I can sprinkle along as needed a neighbor gave me. So that's how the garden's looking so far this spring. Uh, like I said, it kind of looks like a hot mess because some of the things I'm trying to do and work with. But it's my hot mess. I hope y'all's gardens are doing well. And I will see you guys next month.